Technology is a major driver of our economy, of course, but something odd is happening in tech world recently, and it hasn't gotten enough attention. Real innovation is being displaced by an almost mystical belief in the power of technology to make a business, any business, viable. This mystical belief could be endangering the economy. Our show sent Fox Business's Hillary Vaughn to investigate this trend. Here it is. This was the scene on Wall Street the day that Blue Apron went public. The company almost instantly became cash rich. On the day of its initial public offering, it raised $300 million. But there's a problem. Blue Apron hasn't made a penny in profit. It's been bleeding cash every year since it started, failing to post an annual profit. They're in the business of making big bets and taking big risks. If most of their companies fail, but a few of them get massive returns, that was exactly their goal. But Blue Apron's story is the new normal in American finance. More than three quarters of all companies that went public last year lost more money than they made. It's because investors are eager to bet millions of dollars on bright-eyed, ambitious startups that don't make any money, hoping they are the next Google or Microsoft. Yes, there is reason to worry. Today, there are certainly some companies that uh, you have to put an awful lot of optimistic assumptions together uh, to justify the valuation. This strategy means companies that don't make money can massively outraise companies that do. Tesla has failed to turn a profit year after year, but its market cap has blown past Ford Motor Company, even though Ford cranked out $8.4 billion in profit just last year. Today, Tesla is worth $54 billion compared to Ford's $42 billion. The trend could be seen as a sign of a coming crash. Ultimately, you know, companies do have to stand on their own two feet, and that does mean um, generating cash. And, and the question then is, is there enough runway, either through the cash that they already have or their ability to raise more cash in the future, that gets them to that point? Companies running huge losses, cashing in on going public is catching on. Some of the industry's biggest firms, Snap and Twitter, weren't turning a profit when they went public. Snap, the hottest tech IPO in years, still isn't. Its stock was up only a dollar on its one-year anniversary trading on the New York Stock Exchange. The hope is that they can switch on profitability at a later date, that they will find this magical monetization model that Tesla will figure out a way to make money on the cars that it produces, that Snap will find out a great way to monetize its large user base. The risks are supersized. If the companies fail to ever turn a profit and investors bail, billions and billions of dollars in value could suddenly disappear. Tucker, not only are investors out of luck if these companies fail, but they could be getting duped from the start. The National Bureau of Economic Research says, on average, almost half of all unicorn startups are way overvalued. They checked out 135 companies with billion-dollar values and found that 65 of them were totally off base. Tucker? It's an amazing story. Thank you, Hillary. I appreciate